हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द सेकंड सेशन ऑफ एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर सो फ्रेंड्स एज पर और प्रीवियस डिस्कशन वी हैव सीन दैट इफ वी कीप ऑन डिवाइडिंग द मैटर कंटिन्यूअसली अ स्टेज विल कम बियॉन्ड व्हिच फर्दर डिवीजन और फर्दर कटिंग इज नॉट पॉसिबल सो दिस काइंड ऑफ फिलॉसफी was first put forward by an indian great scientist his name was kashyap it was around 500 bc when he proposed his philosophy why philosophy because it was not having any experimental proof that's why till 18th century uh, the theories proposed by maharshi kashyap and Uh, in Greece, Democritus also proposed similar things, were just speculations or philosophies due to lack of experimental evidence. So first, we will see why Maharshi Kashyap was termed as Maharshi Kanal. As such, he has done a great work in this area. However, as far as your textbooks are concerned, Maharshi Kanal was taught. Maharshi Kanal is taught in just two, three lines. But friends, his magnum opus, Vaisheshik Sutra, has twelve chapters with three seventy three verses, which is blend of science and spirituality. So he he deserves much, much more than. two lines because this theory was the starting ceremony this can be termed as the starting ceremony in the research of atomic structure so friends why maharshi kashyap was called as maharshi kanal he it was very interesting thing and painful also maharshi kanal was not very rich rather he was poor even though he was so brilliant due to poverty he used to survive he used to live on the remaining crops after cutting in the agricultural land whatever matter remains after cutting the crop in agriculture he used to survive on that remaining part and the remaining granules of let's say rice or wheat these remaining granules are called as kan in sanskrit granule means kan granule means kan and what is kana kan eater who eats kan who survives on kan who eats kan is kanal that's why he named as kanal maharshi kanal actually his name was maharshi kashyap he was the unsung great indian scientist his magnum opus is vaisheshik sutras as we have as i have said just before few minutes and it is the blend of science and spirituality with 12 chapters of 373 verses and each verse is called as sutra what these sutras say about atomic structure friends he termed matter as dravya or padarth these are sanskrit words he term matter as dravya or padarth and every every padarth is made up of small tiny particles and he term them as param anu to parmanu what we call today atoms and these parmanus come together to form anu and we call anu today as molecules atoms combine to form molecules as i said his theory was the blend of science and spirituality friends if you 
आंसर एनी इंडियन स्क्रिप्चर्स और एनी इंडियन साइंटिफिक बुक्स रिटन बाय सेंट्स दे वोट स्पीक जस्ट अबाउट साइंस एवरी इंडियन साइंटिस्ट हिस्टोरिकल साइंटिस्ट पुट फॉरवर्ड हिज फिलोसॉफी हिज थियरी विथ बोथ द एंगल्स साइंस एंड स्पिरिचुअलिटी एंड रिमेंबर फ्रेंड्स साइंस कैन फैसिलिटेट ह्यूमन लाइफ साइंस कैन फैसिलिटेट ह्यूमन लाइफ बट कंटेंटमेंट एंड हैप्पीनेस इटर्नल हैप्पीनेस कम्स फ्रॉम स्पिरिचुअलिटी साइंस नीड्स spirituality together to make human being human being completely satisfied and happy so he has spoken about anu parmanu and soul he said parmanu and soul are eternal and invisible which cannot be observed with naked eyes invisible indestructible indivisible part of matter he termed it as parmanu and both these things soul and parmanu are indivisible indestructible invisible and eternal and as all we know parmanu can't exist alone parmanus combine together to form anu so this was the great work it is just glimpse of his work why i focus this much uh, about maharshi kana because he has done a great work and none of the textbooks speaks about his great work in detail it is just mentioned in one or two lines but real research and real thinking in the direction of atomic structure started with maharshi kana's work that's why we must no about maharshi kana and all his philosophy he proposed in almost 500 bc that is 2000 almost 2500 years back almost 2500 years back he proposed he put forward his theory of atomic structure so he was the great scientist heads of to maharshi kana and almost same theory in the same time proposed by democritus but due to lack of connectivity with east and west and several other reasons democritus got the credit for terming for his term atomio he called the indivisible part of matter as atomio atomio means indivisible and later on it is termed as atoms and uh, atoms combine together to form molecules this maharshi kana was the first scientist who made the foundation of researching atomic structure area later on in almost 1800 ad two important foundations came out those were laws of chemical combination that is law of conservation of mass and law of constant proportions which had given the direction in in the research of this area and Dal- john dalton utilized these two concepts law of conservation of mass and law of constant proportions to propose his atomic theory and he explained his atomic theory on the basis of these two laws that is law of conservation of mass and law of constant proportions so in the next session friends we will see how john dalton has explained atomic theory thank you friends